Hello friends, Valerie here with the Florida Road Trip Mystery Knit Along. Here are some tips and tricks for leg two and beyond. Tip number one, use a lifeline. A lifeline is simply taking a piece of waste yarn or cotton crochet thread and running that through the live stitches on your needle so that if in the unfortunate circumstance you need to rip back a little bit, you don't have to go as far. So I have my needle and crochet thread. I like to use the crochet thread because it's very smooth and it won't like catch with the yarn that I have on my needles. Important thing when you're doing this, do not put your lifeline through your stitch marker. You want to go around your stitch marker because your stitch marker changes rows, but the actual stitches we're running through our lifeline, running our lifeline through do not. And I have this down here on the cable rather than up on the actual needle because it gives me a little more space to work. So lifelines, they can save you if you use them. So you might want to run one at the end of every beaded divider so that if you have to pull back, you don't have to at least figure out the whole seed stitch border and the stitches lean different directions and everything. This way you get them back on your needle just as they originally were. Okay, so, oops, let me pull out the... There we go. All right, so now I have run a lifeline. Yay! Next thing is, here's a tip for remembering to change your needles. Okay, we're switching back and forth between smaller and larger needles depending upon what type of stitch pattern we're using. Whenever I change my needles, I look ahead in the pattern to see what color I'm going to use the next time I use whichever needle. So these happen to be my small needles because I'm getting ready to start lace. Um, so when I put these on, I took the larger needles off and I stuck them in the next color I'm going to use the larger needles for. So there it is. That works for interchangeables, but what about if you actually have needles with cables. There it is. I did exactly the same thing. I just wound them up and I stuck them in the next ball of yarn that's going to be used with those needles. Then when I go to change yarn colors, the needles are already there and it's a visual reminder to me, oh yeah, I need to do that. The third tip and final tip for this grand leg adventure, or at least this video, is that on a number of the lace panels in the shawl, we needed to adjust the stitch count by just one stitch. So in the written, and di written directions, that is written right in to the written directions. On the charts, you'll see a note at the top reminding you to do that but there are not actually any symbols indicating that increase or decrease in the chart. So you have to remember to do that. What types of increases might you want to use? Um, my favorite is a make one if I have to increase, but you can do it left or right. I tend to do whichever one is easiest at the moment and not worry too much about which way they're leaning because doesn't actually matter a whole lot. Um, but you're always going to do your increase or decrease right after that first edge marker on the first row. So, and as I'm knitting, I'm just going to note, I'm avoiding catching the lifeline with the tip of my needle because I don't want to actually knit that into the stitch. I want that light lifeline to be floating free. All right, so here I've gotten to a point it's right after the edge marker to knit, to make one. 
I use the tip, I tend to use the tip of my right needle because I just have more dexterity in my hand. Um, and then I insert the tip of my left needle into that loop that I pulled up. So what loop was that? It's basically that little bit of yarn that carries from stitch to stitch. So I inserted my left needle. Nope, that was my right needle. Ha! Inserted the right needle, inserted the left needle, and now I'm just going to knit. And voila, I made a stitch and adjusted my stitch count. Another option would be to do a knit front and back. So you could do a knit front and back. You knit, but instead of dropping the stitch off the left hand needle, you take the point of your right hand needle and go into the back loop. See that? And knit that. And now you can drop it off. So there I've made two stitches out of just the one. So those are some simple increases you can do. On the other end of this, when you're decreasing, you're almost always on a purl row. So the easiest thing to do is to purl two stitches together, right? So you insert your needle into those two stitches. And from two stitches, you made one. So that's the easiest thing to do. So what do you do if you forget to do that increase or decrease on the last row? It's really easy to remember it at the beginning, but at the end of the panel, I will be honest, I forgot it a number of times. And do you know what? I didn't discover it until I was on the bead row of the beaded divider, which was four rows in. So I did not rip out four rows just to fix one stitch and the beaded divider I would just either knit two together if I needed to decrease like so or if I needed to increase I would do one of those other two stitches that I showed you a little bit ago at the beginning of the row and here I'm just going to go ahead and get to the end of the row because I want to show you the wonders of the lifeline. Because I don't really want this loveliness. That was just for demonstration purposes. So what I can do now to rip that out is I can just take the whole thing off my needles. I'm going to get my stitch markers out of the way. And I can remove all that yarn that I just put in there. And all of my stitches are safely on the lifeline. And now it's just a simple thing to find my needle. I'm just going to follow. I'm going to follow the path of that thread. And if something has ducked in a little bit, no problem. There we go. So it becomes easy to pick up those stitches. You're not hunting. And you can just get everything right back on your needles. Lickety split quick. So that's it. Lifelines. Reminders for when to change your needles and what yarn to use. And some simple increases and decreases to use when you have to adjust the stitch count. Have fun knitting!